Hey everybody, it's Brian back with another idea to help you be constructively disruptive in your workplace, in your community. Again, my definition of constructively disruptive is productively and positively challenging the status quo. And if necessary, remember, if necessary, replace what you have with what you might imagine. All right. So in, in order for us to be constructively disruptive today, I thought I would come outside because it helps me make the analogy of using an umbrella. Actually, it's a beautiful fall day today. It's almost 80 degrees though. And normally I would head outside on a day like today expecting to wear a jacket, maybe use my umbrella to protect myself from the rain and the elements. But today, I, I just it's not what I expected. And so I have my umbrella with me today to help me make a point. The reason I'm using an umbrella as an analogy is when I first got into this industry almost 15 years ago, I was leaving graduate school where I studied sports psychology and I got into the workplace wellness industry, which was at the time talking a lot about why we need healthier employees inside workplaces. And everyone was talking about return on investment. And I just, it left me scratching my head all the time going, what, why are we always talking about people and numbers? Because to me, people have value. And for a lot of people, value doesn't necessarily mean monetary figures. What one person might pay $100 for, somebody else might not pay $10 for, even though it's the exact same service or product. So value and money don't always have the same equation or the, the same balance there. So I started talking to groups, not just about return on investment, but I started talking to them about values. And I used an umbrella as an analogy for many of the groups I was talking with. And I was talking about value being our big umbrella. And I think that's really important because return on investment and m numbers might be a part of our umbrella. It might be underneath our umbrella as something that might be important to us. Now, if we're gonna pour time and effort and resources into something, we wanna know we might be getting some type of investment back. But that's not the umbrella. It's just part of what's underneath it. Some groups, when I started talking to them about what else they valued, they would start talking to things or talking about things like retention and maybe attraction of new employees or being a best place to work. And actually some owners would just look me in the eye and go, Brian, quite frankly, I just care about my people and I want them to not just be productive and happy at work. I want them to be productive and happy when they leave work. So it was a real eye-opening experience for me to start talking to groups about what's under your value umbrella. What are some of your values, your core values here in the workplace, whether it be five or six or seven of them. And we could say, okay, now let's develop a program or initiative, or if we're really gonna go for it, let's change, change your whole climate and culture to fit these values. Because there might be years where we pour some money and resources into things and we may not see a return on investment on, on that monetarily, but we might see a return on value in other areas like, hey, look, retention was up and we have more employees coming to us to actually want to work for us who fit us better than they ever have before. So when you're meeting with groups, if you're trying to be constructively disruptive, don't just talk about the numbers, talk about the value and maybe even bring your umbrella and talk to them about, hey, what's under your value umbrella? Yes, numbers are important, but what do we value here and how can the programs and initiatives that we're running be a part of our values overall? Hopefully that's a quick tip and a great analogy that you might be able to use as you're out meeting with organizations or people or out in your community. Get them talking about what's under their overall value umbrella. It's a much bigger picture than most people recognize. They might get stuck on one part of it and they might need you to come in and actually show them an umbrella and say, hey, what's underneath your value umbrella that we can talk about overall. So thanks for tuning in and listening and we'll catch you guys next time.